One journalist, he confesses, was irritated by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's actions. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle left for a 16-day royal trip to Australia in 2018, just five months after the Windsor wedding. Paradoxically, on the way back, they made a crude remark that completely caught the reporter off surprise. But before we go any further, please subscribe to this channel and be sure to activate the notification bell. Former royal writer Valentine Lowe recounted an embarrassing interaction with the couple on the plane ride back from Tonga to Sydney in an edition of the podcast, A Right Royal. Mr. Lowe said to hosts Enda Kamano and Emily Griffiths, as well as Emily Nash, Hello's royal editor, we're returning to Sydney from Tonga, and on these tours, there's usually a point towards the end when the royal might come back to the back of the plane and have a chat with us off the record, you know, not for printing, but it's a way of bonding. That's how we manage to stay cute. This is an informal method of communication. They or he was supposed to arrive at the back of the aircraft, but that promise was broken. That took place. This was a four, or five hour journey. How soon will this occur, he continued. When we finally landed and buckled up for the descent, it had not happened. They returned to the back of the plane only after we had landed. Megan was a little behind Harry and he was a little ahead. She said very little, too. We wanted to return for our Sunday brunch, she said in a peculiar way. And it was all quite strange. The remarkable part, though, was what he said. Though you were not invited, he said, thank you very much for coming. And we pondered, what? After explaining to Prince Harry that his remark had been interpreted as impolite, Valentine continued by detailing his own reactions and those of other royal correspondents. As one of her requests was denied by Queen Elizabeth II, Meghan Markle has allegedly reacted angrily by hurling a cup of tea. In Revenge, Meghan, Harry, and the war between the Windsors, Tom Bauer shared details about Meghan's life in the royal family, particularly her bond with Queen Elizabeth. When it was announced that Meghan wouldn't be able to make it to Prince Philip's funeral at St. George's Chapel, Windsor, he said the late Queen was relieved. It was planned that Prince Harry would travel over from the US for the service on April 17. However, due to her seven-month pregnancy at the time, Meghan was unable to attend. Tom stated, the late Queen said to her staff on the day of the funeral, thank goodness, upon learning Meghan would not be traveling with Harry. Furthermore, he charged that Harry and Meghan had insisted on joining the Queen on the balcony of Buckingham Palace as she was celebrating her platinum jubilee. Their request, though, was turned down. He added, festering was their fury that the palace had refused all of their demands for a prominent role at the jubilee. Being close to the Queen was part of Meghan's value to Netflix, therefore in her opinion, those optics were problematic. During Harry and Meghan's reign as members of the royal family, the royal author further asserted, they developed an obsession with browsing social media. Meghan reportedly hurled a cup of tea into the air, according to one account. Tom said, he said that she became angry with, her, husband for searching for, negative, comments on the internet. The author of, Revenge, Meghan, Harry, and the War Between the Windsors said that when filming the final season of, Suits, Meghan was subjected to several rules from the royal family. 